So we're back at it again, just to show you a little bit more evidence of um, the border of Egypt um, being where the Bible says it was, is, and um, just want to show you this map that um, Brother David Daniel sent me uh, from the spring of Valeria Gomez, <clears throat> and um, what you can do, you can go up here, and you can, you know, you can, um, uh, overlay pictures right here where's my learning oh, okay there's my hand you can overlay pictures right here and so what I did was I overlaid the map that he sent me um, and um, you can also kind of make it go opaque or whatever and um, you know you can use these little lines here to stretch it out right here in the corners what have you and um, this right here rotates it and everything else if you click on it this right here grabs the middle and so forth so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and grab this back here and I'll show you how it all matches so you can move this little bar here so you can it just fades it out what have you it fades back in so I'm just trying to get to his um, map that he has here, and um, on this map he has uh, Aurora, Aurora de Egypt, the Egypti, I think that's what it is. That's the Spanish name for the River of Egypt, and of course you see where the green stuff is here. That's um, that's the um, the territory that David got and then the, the purple here is the territory that Solomon got so the extension of the empire see and uh, the brown here is of, uh, of uh, Saul and which is part of that as you can see is um, the West Bank part of it and, and things of that nature <clears throat> so Anyway, it wasn't as big after David, whenever David got a hold of it, hold of it and then it was, grew larger. Here you can see where Brother David put um, um, the Amalek and uh, Edom and Moab. And even though it's uh, Spanish, you can kind of get an idea as to what it says. Uh, Elate and Ezon Geber and things of that nature right there. Timon and, and things of that nature. And so I've tried to match it up as best I could um, to his map. But again, no matter how you look at it, he's got Araro de Egypti, um, the river of Egypt. And that's exactly, if we take it right here, and we fade it back in a little bit. Let me get this out of the way here. We go right to the actual river of egypt which is dried out now of course but um see it fades away and then you can go here and it says wadi al arish well actually i don't have the label on it let's see here border label um, actually i do i think yeah oh that's not it arish there it is these right there and you can follow that on down here and it goes down for a while and it winds up this way it comes through here okay so the part we're looking at right now this here comes all the way around and goes up and comes out to the Mediterranean Sea so if we get out of that you go here it says Mediterranean you get Crete there it says Mediterranean Sea so anyway if we fade it back in and we keep our eye right here watch what it says a road to Egypt the river of Egypt and we got Malik right here 
and of course you got Jabal Al Waltz right here. What happens when we fade that out? Hmm, it's still there, but it's it's a mountain on here somewhere or another. It did show earlier. Hmm. It was pretty intimate there, it is right there. To borrow our waltz. Right there. I don't have them a certain feature or whatever it is. I think this should work. But anyway, the whole point of this is to show that the river of Egypt is the southern border of Israel, which was Canaan at one time. And the scriptures don't lie. The scriptures tell the truth of God and uh, in his holy word. The scriptures, there are many scriptures out there and some of those scriptures are not true. But the words of God are pure, right? So if they're going to be pure, they're going to be in a book that has his truth. They're not going to be in a book that doesn't have his truth. You know, they just pretend that they are, and they sell, sell means and means of copies, and other people benefit from the sales. <coughs> but those who invest in the truth have, have far more of value than they could ever have of those who, you know, have a bunch of money and have big, nice cars and fancy houses. You know what I mean? God's truth is way more valuable than that. It, get, it leads to salvation in Jesus Christ. But anyway, if I fade it back in, I'm trying to do this the weird way here. Watch what we get. Hmm. So let's find out. Let's see for ourselves what the Bible says about where the border, where the river of Egypt was. Now let's just see what it says in Genesis uh, 15 and 18. This is what it says. It says, in the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, Unto thy seed have I given this land from the river of Egypt, see it right there, unto the great river, the river Euphrates. Now let's check out Numbers chapter 34, verse 5. Numbers chapter 34, verse 5. And it says, And the border shall fetch a compass from Asmon unto the river of Egypt and the going thank you and the goings out of it shall be at the sea what sea? the Mediterranean Sea right? did it say which sea? nope does it mean the Dead Sea? nope does it mean the Red Sea? nope the Red Sea and I'll show you more here about that. The sea. Okay, this is Joshua chapter 13, verse 3. From Sihor, which is before Egypt. From Sihor, which is before Egypt. Even unto the borders of Ekron, northward. Hmm, Ekron. That was the Philistine city, wasn't it? Joshua 15, verse 4. This is what it says. From thence it passed to Ward Osman, and went out unto the river of Egypt. And the goings out of that coast were at the sea. This shall be your south coast. 1 Kings 8:65. And at that time. Solomon held a feast in all Israel with him. A great congregation from the entering in of Hamath, which is at the Euphrates River, unto the river of Egypt before the Lord our God seven days, and seven days even fourteen days. Second Kings 24-7, it says this, And the king of Egypt came not again any more out of his land. 
And the king of Egypt came not again any more out of his land. For the king of Babylon had taken from the river of Egypt unto the river Euphrates all that pertained to the king of Egypt. So evidently, whenever Solomon married his daughter, the, the previous king, his descendants had a piece of land there of some sort. Hmm. Anyway, it says here, again, from the river of Egypt unto the river Euphrates, again and again we see the borders being described with different words, different names somewhat, but it's still the same. Now, let's take a look at First Chronicles 13.5. So David gathered all Israel together from Shehor, or Shihor rather, of Egypt, even unto the entering of Hamath, to bring the ark of God from Kirjath Jerim, from the from Shehor of Egypt. See there? That evidently was a border town, border rivers, you know, what have you. And here we go, Second Chronicles 7, 8. Also at the same time, Solomon kept the feast seven days, and all Israel with him, a very great congregation, from, from the entering in of Hamath unto the river of Egypt. It's not talking about the Nile River. It's not talking about the Red Sea again. It's not talking about the Dead Sea. If it were talking of, or, or the sea, which is the Mediterranean, it would have named them if it were talking about that. But it's explicitly naming the River of Egypt, which is also called Shihor, which is today called Wadi Al-Rish. Isaiah 23.3 and by great waters the seed of Sihor, the harvest of the river, is her revenue, and she is a mart of nations. Now, Jeremiah 2.18, it says here, And now, what hast thou to do in the way of Egypt, to drink the waters of Sihor? Or what hast thou to do in the way of Assyria, to drink the waters of the river? It doesn't say that they're there. It says in the way, or, or in this case, on the road, on the way there. So, again and again and again we see the borders of Israel, of Canaan. A lot of people like to draw it out as is in Saudi Arabia, on down in the Nile River. The Bible doesn't put it like that. The Bible gives the borders. If you read further in um, Exodus and uh, numbers you'll see um, and then it gives the place where they tread upon the, with their sole of their feet that is what God gives them he doesn't give them a Saudi Arabia or parts of Assyria or parts of the Nile Egypt into the Nile River it's between the dits excuse me it's between the river of Egypt which is the border which is Wadi El Arish to the Euphrates River, to the Mediterranean Sea, to the Jordan River. And of course, um, they got part of a Moab and things of that nature, or excuse me, the Amorite uh, country and everything as well. And the uh, um, Basra, or um, anyway, where Agaba, Bashan, Gilead, and all that. So, if we take a look at some maps in our Bibles, and not all going to be correct, we can see Elates here, which I've been talking about before, and the um, Red Sea and everything, and Elate, Elath, and Ezon Geber. And right here is Al Arish. And it says we're well, here, Wadi Al Arish. See where it goes here? So, even though there's a border here, that they've drawn 
I forgot what year it was. Some of you might know. Right here where Wadi El Rish comes around and I guess right about here or some border then it fetched in through the Bible uh, that you read through in the Bible there. All of this here, it's supposed to be Israel's, but yet it's not. But um, this is where Egypt was then, and this is where Egypt is now. See, so he took some land there that don't belong to him, as well as these uh, PLO, parts of Jordan, what have you, and Syria, taking land here and everything. Hmm. What does that tell us? Yeah. So, I mean, this land right here, technically that belongs to Israel. And the border, everything on this side, belongs to Egypt. 